now in the state of Texas. An average of 12 people a day die in vehicle accidents, and since November 7, 2000, not a single day has gone by without a fatality on Texas roadways. To bring awareness to the issue, the Texas Department of Transportation is conducting their End the Streak campaign that seeks to inform Texas drivers on safe driving habits in an effort to decrease that statistic and put an end to the fatal streak. KRBC's Tobin Smith highlighting a local family with close ties to the issue. Rain clouds gathered over the skies above portions of the big country this morning. And while the rain steadily trickled down, the clouds weren't the only ones that were weeping. Aspen was so special. She was our oldest daughter. I was raised in a family of, bo of mostly boys, so she taught me all about raising girls. None of us will ever forget that morning. I remember one of the troopers catching me on the doorway to keep me from hitting the ground crying out in the deepest agony, wishing it was a bad dream. 18-year-old Aspen Blessing was killed by a drunk driver in the early morning hours of March the 10th of this year. Law enforcement, text dot workers, and her family gathered in front of the wreckage that was once Aspen's vehicle. Sadly, this tragic tale is just one of literally thousands that stretch across the history of fatalities on Texas roadways. November the 7th of 2000. That was the last deathless day on our roads. When you put it in perspective, that's more than 87,000 mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children that's, that's died on our roads over the past 24 years. That's unacceptable. Because of the loss of their daughter, Jen and Drew Blessing have partnered with Text. Abilene this year for their In the Street Texas campaign, which seeks to create awareness about safe driving in order to cease daily fatal vehicle accidents on Texas roadways. And I think we can kind of become desensitized to the number of fatalities that we have in Texas and in the big country. And so um, putting a face with with that putting an identity to those names, I think really helps bring awareness and brings perspective to it's not just a number. Though the Blessing family's loss is still new, they utilize their strength in their attempt to help others and follow the example of kindness that their daughter Aspen set for them many years ago. When she was a little bitty thing, we lived in a house with a really long hallway. One night after she was supposed to be in bed, I kept hearing her get up and come down that same hall. I finally threatened to whoop her, and so she stayed in bed. The next morning, I found out that she had been sneaking her snack candy into my, into my lunchbox for me to take to work. That's just who she was. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Tobin Smith. Thank you for that report, Tobin. Since the accident, the Blessing family has set up a nonprofit called One Choice that serves to tell Aspen's story and to educate the public about the risk of unsafe driving habits. For more information about TxDOT's In the Street Texas campaign, as well as the nonprofit One Choice, you can visit our KRBC website, bigcountryhomepage.com.